Oh, there we go. Awesome. Hi everyone, welcome back to RC Pie. Um, we're on holiday, so I thought I'd bring a holiday kind of thing with me, and I got myself a boat. Um, it's a, an FTX Moray, so it's kind of bottom of the range in a lot of ways. It's nice and cheap and cheerful. Uh, it's cost me thirty-five pounds, so what less than forty dollars. Um, it's got everything that you need included, apparently. It says it's water cooled. Uh, well, let's have a look. Open it up. See what's inside. Oh, and straight away. Not used to things not being fastened in. A joypad style stick transmitter, which feels quite nice. And it's big enough. It's big enough for adult hands. Problem with a lot of kind of toy grade RC stuff is your transmitters are tiny. That's quite good. We've got a 800 milliamp hour Li-Ion battery with a separate charge cable, which is good. Charge plug. And the boat itself, nicely packaged in. Looking pretty nice. Oh, it even has an RC Pi sticker. Amazing. Uh, one of the nice little things on here is you can put a Lego minifigure on there. Just getting welcomed by a bee. Um, so that all looks quite nice. Let's have a look under here. I believe that's just held down by a magnet on the back, so that's easy. And then there are four twisting catches there to then lift that out. So you've got a nice rubber seal around there to keep in the inside of your hull dry. There's a silica gel sachet in there to make sure it is dry um, yeah looks pretty good a little servo there uh, you can see the water cooling there around the motor I guess that's that's the outlet for that so the inlet is here so it's going to get sucked in or maybe just drawn in as that's an angled inlet cool Oh, very nice, and the speed controller's tucked up at the front there. So, looks straightforward, looks simple. Don't think I've missed anything on here. Yes, I have. What's this? What else do we get? Of course, our charger. And what's in here? A little spanner and a rubber plug or something. Oh, a... A bumper for the front of the front of the boat for beginners, which I obviously am. But am I going to use it? Mm, probably not. And this looks like you get oh spare propeller. That's nice. And the boat stand, which I think is a lovely little addition to this. So we're going to find a place here on holiday that we can have a go of this boat, get some footage and see what we think. We've got some water, we've got the, what was it called, the moray. I'm going to stick it in the water and see what happens. Well, we've just got a bit of weed snagged on the prop shaft, so we'll just clear that. Apparently, 
it's got self right function so if you find yourself capsized let's have a look I don't want it pointing that way you apparently just put the throttle forwards and backwards oh there we go awesome Well, first run, I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, 35 quid, I think it costs, which is what, under $40. Um, it's nice, it's fun. Obviously, it's entry level for a boat, but it's my first boat, so I'm pretty pleased. I'd highly recommend it. Um, what I'm going to try next is sticking a, a Lego minifigure on the front there. Well, not on the front, but in the cockpit. And... Let's see how that affects the balance, whatever. See if it works and hopefully not fall off. Um, and I'll maybe try it in some different places as well. Maybe a little river run. Let's see. But for now, I'm pretty pleased.